Yes, I'm Vanessa Hill. I am an allied senior researcher at the Aronhan Foundation. I'm also the head of the ANI department and uh, I am also the coordinator of the Higgs project. Higgs uh, will try to investigate which is the effect of uh, blending hydrogen with uh, methane in the, in the gas grid. So the idea is to identify uh, which is the maximum uh, hydrogen percentage, the hydrogen amount, when you mix in with the methane that is able to be uh, fitted between the, the gas grid. In this way, uh, Higgs uh, will provide by the first time uh, the first conclusions uh, regarding uh, which is the maximum uh, hydrogen that could be uh, uh, blended with the uh, gas or with the methane into, into the high pressure gas grid or the transmission gas grid and uh, also uh, without uh, detrimental uh, damage on the, not only on the uh, steels, on the pipelines, but also on the components, on the equipment that uh, typically exist in the, in the gas grid. Our um, point was to decide which will be those conditions that we wanted to test. Of course, we wanted uh, to go from the just uh, pure gas grid up to pure 100% of hydrogen, but in between, we should decide if we should go into uh, uh, very low uh, amounts of hydrogen and even or even go a, a bit up. So, and, and this was a big discussion at the at the uh, consortium level because this is related also to regulations uh, at national level of this country. So we should make these kind of decisions and it was uh, um, a big challenge as these uh, decisions or this fixing these conditions will uh, um, provide an impact in the conclusions that we will make into the project. The most uh, relevant um, result in the project so far regarding our contribution from the Aragon Canyon Foundation has been the, the design of an uh, R&D testing platform. Uh, the design from the scratch, uh, trying to identify how should be uh, this, um, uh, this testing platform we wanted to uh, replicate, to simulate uh, a high pressure gas grid to replicate in a small scale, in a pilot scale, at our facilities, but uh, still uh, being uh, representative for the uh, current high pressure gas grid, for the current transmission uh, gas grid. So in this sense, uh, we were able to uh, not only design, but commission and assembly a testing platform that now uh, provides us as a tool to test uh, different components, different materials, uh, different equipments uh, in case we want uh, to expose those components, equipment and materials at uh, the relevant environment. Um, electrolyzers are uh, one of the key solutions to the uh, power to x um, uh, value chain. If we are able to provide um, uh, electrolyzers that could work at uh, or could be operated at higher pressure and that the current produced is produced at higher pressure, uh, we could try to decrease the cost of the hydrogen uh, produced. The, the idea is to, to link uh, electrolyzers uh, also with renewable energies, of course, and uh, in order to do that, uh, we should try also to identify different synergies between the different uh, technologies of the electrolyzers or the different electrolyzer technologies. And, and in this way, also a lot of efforts are being developed uh, to try to, to build up these kind of synergies between the different uh, water electrolyzer technologies. Yeah, one of the biggest challenges would be uh, to ensure that the hydrogen transported uh, is the hydrogen that the end user would like to have. So separation technologies, uh, in fact, will have a, a key role in, the, in, this, uh, in this field. Um, we will see at, at which level, if this should be something at uh, the transmission part, at the distribution part, or even at the industry side, depending on the needs. But of course, uh, this is something that uh, will be also part of, of this.